What's up, Nerf fam? Welcome to another exciting episode of No Eye Protection Productions. As usual, I am your host, Spaceman51, kicking it at Noel Chimera's headquarters again, helping him with his PC on some moving stuff to a new hard drive. So, yes, this is his mic. <laughs> I'm going to help him move all of his games to his new hard drive. And so I thought I'd take this time today to sh give you guys a quick tutorial. Going through all the game clients and moving your stuff. How do you do it? Okay, so we're going to take a look at Steam, Origin, Battle.net, Wargaming.net, and Epic Games, right? Yeah, probably. Okay, so first open up Steam. And we got a bunch of stuff to move. He's basically got his, uh, we set up in the, if you watched our last video, we set up the Steam library, the new one on the D drive. We have, we have the move, moved our, moved from our, our old hard drive that has the OS. And right now all the games are on that and we're going to this one. So we set up in our last video, the new library on this drive. So. Then we're gonna go to properties for our first game. Click local files under properties. And right here you'll see a little button called move install folder. We're gonna click that. And assuming I haven't moved it yet, looks like I have. Um, if you haven't moved it yet, you'll see D games steam or however you set it up in the last video. So that one's moved so we'll go next to this one that's updating, I guess it's updating, but whatever, we'll still move the install folder. And it's popping up on the other screen, sorry about that. Um, and there you go. So we're gonna move it to the D drive, because we have two Steam libraries set up and we're just moving it to this other one. Uh, files can't be moved, update required, okay. Well, I gotta update the game. But anyway, that's the process. You go through each one of these. I would recommend, you, know, you could probably start off by saying, hey, Spaceman, can't you just open up the stinking files and go to um, programs x86, Steam? Uh, yes, you could. All the games are under Steam Apps Common. These are your games, this directory right here. But the problem is Steam has lots of parts and little cogs of the machine it has lots of features and libraries and data packages and stuff about two directories up from that all of this stuff is the steam app itself so i wouldn't touch all that stuff I'd, i would leave it where it is i would highly recommend just go into the settings on steam and just move them one by one because if you don't you're gonna have files that you moved on accident that steam wants to i mean i assuming they will they will be where they are supposed to be still because they'll be under the c drive x86 right here but i mean if you don't you'll just have a bunch of extraneous files in your new library that you don't need to have there so i kind of recommend just go through one by one click the local files Right click the game settings, local files, move install. Okay, so we're gonna do that for each one. And then when we're done, we'll come back. Word of advice, this process isn't gonna take just like that. So watch some videos, play some games, do some homework, whatever you gotta do in between the time that you intermittently click these guys and get all the way through them. So once Steam is all the way done, after that long stinking time, let's work on Origin. So with Origin launched, after you log in, click on Origin Settings, Application Settings. Go to Install and Saves. Now down here on your computer, this is the one we're looking for, Game Library Location. Click that, Change Folder, and we're going to go to our Setup Game Library folder into our new hard drive, Games, Origin, Select. The install directory for your games has changed. This won't affect your currently installed games, so it'll remain in their original location. So if you have anything installed, go make sure you go select those that you move them. Right now, we don't have anything installed, so we, we just needed to move it. So, done there. Let's see, what's next? Battle.net. Let's try Battle.net. Wait for it to launch. 
Give it a second. Okay, so with Battle.net, it's gonna be a little bit of a different process. Since this button actually looks for a game, say you've installed StarCraft and you put it in your, I don't know, documents, um, for whatever reason, you want it to look in another folder, so we can't actually move it from the client, so we're gonna go find the files which are located under D. Diablo, we're gonna cut and paste that into Battle.net and our game's gonna live there. That should take a little while. Oh, looks like it's done. Yeah! You can alt double click and see file info, 16 gigabytes. Okay, so now it lives there, so we'll select this and now we can select the game folder and just look inside that folder. Don't click on the on the actual game folder, but but the folder that it's located in. Then it's gonna say updating down here, initializing, and there we go. Now when we click done and we go back to that, there it is in our new folder. Games, Battle.net, Diablo 3. All right, so we got our Battle.net done. All right, so say we want to move Epic Games. Let's go check it out. Let's we'll see what we got. <sighs> Dark days. I'm sorry, guys. I can't figure out a way to move installs on Epic Games. If you leave a comment if you know how, but I tried downloading it to an empty folder. I guess what you could try moving the folder into the folder that you the empty folder that you start downloading it to, but that could be dangerous. So basically it's going to re-download everything. I tried my best though. Ryan's booting up some Outriders. We're gonna take a look at Wargaming. We want to move World of Tanks. Yeah, <laughs> good luck to us, right? Well, we'll give it a try here, let's see. Um, as you can tell from the wargaming.net launcher, there's not really, I mean, there's, there's updates, auto updates, but there's no, there's no way to like do it. So what we could do is go down to our hard drive. Hey, Noel, where do you have World of Tanks installed? Probably see. Let's check it out. Oh, there it is. It's under games. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to tell the client that we've uninstalled it, but we're going to actually move it to our new hard drive. And we'll see if it plays nice. We'll just drop it in there. Wait for it to finish. It's going to take like 15 minutes. Okie doke. Now that we've uninstalled, or now that we've moved World of Tanks, we're gonna uninstall it. Let's find out if it will take this. So we go to uh, the general settings and nope, game settings under the World of Tanks uninstall game and it will uninstall it from C Games World of Tanks, which is what we want. That's where we pulled it out from. And let's see. Successfully uninstalled because it doesn't see anything in the folder. So then we'll go over to here and reinstall it, but we're gonna tell it where it is. So like zoom pounds? Yep, here we go. I'm reinstalling to our new hard drive, games, wargaming.net, World of Tanks. Accept and install. And there we go. Hopefully it works. Hey Ryan. Hey Noel. Chimera. Can you log into wargaming for us? I can try. All right, thank yous. 
and indeed that looks like it's going to work downloading 16 gigabytes so it's updating what we already had so we don't have to re-download learn something epic games sheesh I'm just kidding. All right, so let's see here. Let's we're gonna do last one. Uh, well, there is Riot Games, but we'll have to see if Noel Chimera can log into that for us here. Okay, so we got Rainbow Six Siege under Ubisoft Connect. I guess we're gonna do what we did for Wargaming. Going to go down and copy it. I'm gonna find out where it's installed, move it to our new hard drive, and then uninstall it from the client, and then reinstall it, pointing it to where it's supposed to go. So then as a bonus, we're gonna throw in the Valorant launcher. Obviously, League of Legends and Valorant use two different launchers, but this one, um, I would say best bet for any of the launchers that don't have the features built in to move your install go to the folder where you where it's installed this is downloading so if it's downloading click pause go to where it's installed over here oh jeez this is being slow okay so we have it on the new one under here we're gonna move riot games into games and now it's installed there and then we're going to have that copy for a couple minutes. After it's done, select uninstall and then reinstall it pointing to this folder. Yes, that one. So let's try control panel programs, uninstall Valorant. That'll get rid of all the components that the game has and we'll reinstall them with all of our data in the right place. Then the download won't take so long, it'll just be like moving it, but we're gonna be moving all the tiny little app, application components along with it. So, back to the client, start up the client again. I quit it earlier, I forgot to, forgot to mention that. Quit the client and then go to the control panel and uninstall it. Then when it's done, go back to Valorant. Double click it over here on my other monitor. All right, so at this point, the the icon for the game on your desktop will be broken, so go ahead and delete it. But inside the place where we have all the game data, we're going here and select Riot Client and launch the client again. <clears throat> Excuse me. And wait for it to come up. All right, so after we've uninstalled the app, we can move the data to our folder, reinstall the client, open it back up, launch the install, and it will start reading it, writing it into the correct location. So that's about it. That wraps up our tutorial on moving install, moving libraries to all of the game clients that all the big ones out there, um, Hope you guys liked this tutorial, found it helpful. Click that like button if you would like to see more videos like this. Hit, leave, a, leave a comment if you have some ideas and hit that subscribe button. And we will see you guys in the next one.